All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download footprints from your uh, from DigiKey. So let's copy the first device here. We have the capacitor. And if you want your capacitor footprint, you know, really, you could use the capacitors that already come with the software. But anyway, let's go to digikey.com. Dot com. There we go. Then you want to put in your DigiKey part number. With the DigiKey part number, we should have a footprint we can get from Ultra Librarian or Snap EDA. You know, in ORCAD 17 uh, or ORCAD 16.6, you may want to go with Snap EDA, but we'll try the we'll try this one anyhow. To download, I need to log in. But here's the Cadence option: Cadence Allegro PCB Editor 16.x. Functional login to download. Now I'm entering my credentials here. Okay. Then we have Cadence. There we go. Now when I try to download again, it will take me to my my goal. Allow. So let's go ahead and unzip this. All right. Now I will right click extract all. This is the window with the windows extractor. And just to keep things organized, I will make a folder called parts. Download it or, you know, whatever. Okay. And then we will put this folder in here, paste it, get rid of the zip file. Now in my downloaded parts thing, I'm going to, uh, let's see here, I have a blank drawing.dra. I'm going to run my batch file. Now it's talking about product licenses not being found, but it does create the pad stack automatically. Okay. PSM not found. Great, great. That's fine. What I'll do is right click edit this batch file and see what it's looking for. Allegro dash S custom shapes. Hmm. I don't want Allegro dash S. I actually want whatever ORCAD is. So if I go to here, ORCAD PCB Editor Lite, here's a trick. You go to right click, more, open file location. Then right click, properties. Then the file I'm actually looking for is called allegro.exe uh, dash or cat. All right, so let's right click copy this. Let's replace. Now let's see if this works. Yes. See, now it's making the footprint. It's asking me to overwrite the footprints or it, uh, the pad stacks that it already created. No product license is found for this thing. Okay. So it does some kind of additional. It does some kind of additional call for the Allegro software. Aha, here we go. I missed that one. Okay, so now it should work. Say run the batch file again. Yes. Mm 
Yes. Okay. Quite fine. Yes. It's adding all these subclasses. Very cool looking. Oh, wow, this is crazy. Now I'm using my virtual machine on a Mac. I haven't activated my Windows yet because I didn't take the time. Like, I don't want to deactivate my other, uh, my past virtual machine or Windows license. This is just to demo the ORCAD software. Okay. So that took a lot longer than I was expecting, but let's see if it did the job. So how do we do that? We just open up ORCAD PCB Editor Lite and check the footprints. Now ORCAD Lite is set up in such a way that I can't associate the footprint file with the, the default ORCAD Lite license for, uh, software or something like that. So I need to I need to open it this way. This is the footprint, the cap footprint that was created in 16.6. .6. And that is interesting. Okay. So it's not really showing anything. Ah, there we go. Uh, there you go. This thing is a bit glitchy for me, but that's okay. All right, so now this is the PCB footprint. If we look at it in 3D view, here's how it looks. Oh, you know what? I don't think I got a step model for this component. Ah, see, no, I didn't. So let's download that and put it in the same folder as the footprint. So I went ahead and found the step model uh, on Ultra Librarian's website, downloaded it. Make sure to uncheck this if you already have the other file. And with the step model here, right click and mm, copy this to your step folder. So local to C or CAD, uh, share local PCB step. Right click paste. That's our step model there. So now if I try to uh, do a setup step package mapping, I have my step model, click on it once, then it's going to try to map it. So let it do its thing. Okay, great. And you just hit save. It looks like it's mapped on there. So that's good. And I could close. Now when I do the 3D model view, the step model is on there. Boom. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, what can I change from this, uh, this device here? Let's right click, quick utilities, grids. Change the grid to say a uh, 10 mil grid. Click OK. Move, use move mode to move this thing out the way. Move this out the way. Like, what is this? Route keep out. Okay. This is package geometry place bound top. It says 53. It's weird. Package geometry assembly top. Route keep out top. Reference designator. Reference designator. What's this? Route keep out top. That's also package geometry assembly top. 
This is the patch stack and this is the origin. So there's no silk screen. Let's hit cancel. Undo everything. And go back into move mode. Done. What I'll do is add uh, some kind of silk screen around here. So go to add line. Then in my options on the right here, make sure this is visible. Go to package geometry silk screen top. Line lock will be 90 degrees and the line width let's set to mm, whatever my units are set to. What are my units? design parameters I am in mills okay so if I go back to add line 90 degrees 5 mil width is a good number now mm, I'll do something like this for the capacitor click right click choose done very good. I would even make the capacitance text like I would go to setup design parameters, go to text, set up text sizes and photo width for text size three, I believe it is, would be five thousandths of an inch. I'll do it for text size five up to text size five. Click OK, click Apply, then OK, and then boom, the text thickness has increased. Let's go ahead and save this. Then we can File Save As and copy this into the, uh, sure, copy this into our capacitor. So if I go to my Excel spreadsheet, this capacitor, Instead of having this PCB footprint, I can change it. Let's see C1 and C2. And then, uh, let's see, do a, do a control F, C1. C1 is over here. And C1 and C2. So let's hold down the control key, select both of them, right click, edit properties. And the PCB footprint will be this. Yes, and paste this, yes. Right click, save, close. The final step is to uh, get your, so we have our local PCB file folder type of thing. Okay, that's great. But the final step is to get the DRA, well, first of all, close this, and we want to get the DRA file. So go to type. We want DRA files. We want PSM files. We also want the step, well, not the step file. We want the text file for that. This thing. What else do we want? We want the pad files for sure. Absolutely. Maybe the journal file, pad designer journal, and maybe a master tag, step facet files for map. So let's right click, copy, mm-hmm. Then go to the C folder. Then you want to go to this folder, right? This C ORCAD, ORCAD 16.6, .6, light, or just ORCAD 16.6, .6, share PCB, PCB underscore lib, symbols, right click and paste everything on there. And replace. Great. From this point moving forward, you want to uh, store all your footprints 
may possibly even generate all your footprints in the in the symbols folder but anyway okay that is how you do your footprint for your first part of your design and i need to um, fill out the rest of these so that's the pretty much the procedure the next step is to do that same thing with your other devices uh, from ultra librarian